Good morning. Today we'll be doing the Liturgy of the Hours morning prayer for December 18th. Today is the Sunday of the fourth week of Advent. Let's have that moment of silence as we begin our prayer. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Sound the trumpet in Zion. The day of the Lord is near. He comes to save us. Alleluia. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His love endures forever. Let the sons of Israel say, His love endures forever. Let the sons of Aaron say, His love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His love endures forever. I called, I called to the Lord in my distress. He answered and freed me. The Lord is at my side. I do not fear. What can man do against me? The Lord is at my side as my helper. I shall look down on my foes. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. The nations all encompass me. In the Lord's name I crush them. They compass me, compass me about. In the Lord's name I crush them. They compass me about like bees. They blaze like a fire among thorns. In the Lord's name I crush them. I was hard-pressed and was falling. But, but the Lord came to help me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He is my Savior. There are shouts of joy and victory in the tents of the just. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. The right hand raised me. The Lord's right hand has triumphed. I shall not die. I shall live and recount his deeds. I was punished. I was punished by the Lord, but not doomed to die. Open to me the gates of holiness. I will enter and give thanks. This is the Lord's own gate, where the just may enter. I will thank you, for you have answered, and you are my Savior. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. O Lord, grant us salvation. O Lord, grant success. Blessed in the name of the Lord is he who comes. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord God is our light. Go forward in 
procession with branches, even to the altar. You are my God, I thank you. My God, I praise you. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Sound the trumpet in Zion. The day of the Lord is near. He comes to save us. Alleluia. The Lord is here, go out to meet him, saying, Great his birth, eternal his kingdom, strong God, ruler of all, Prince of Peace, Alleluia. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name. Praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory. Praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom. Praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you who looks into the depths from your throne upon the cherubim. Praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious forever. Bless the Lord, all you words of the Lord. Praise and exalt him above all forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is here, go out to meet him, saying, Great his birth, eternal his kingdom, strong God, ruler of all, Prince of Peace, Alleluia. Our all-powerful Lord, all glory will come to earth from his throne of glory, Alleluia. Praise God in His holy place. Praise Him in His mighty heavens. Praise Him for His powerful deeds. Praise Him surpassing greatness. Oh, praise Him with sound and trumpet. Praise Him with lute and harp. Praise Him with timbrel and dance. Praise Him with strings and pipes. Oh, praise Him with resounding cymbals. Praise Him with the clashing of cymbals. Let everything that lives and that breathes give praise to the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Your all-powerful word, O Lord, will come to earth from His throne of glory. Alleluia. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. It is the hour now for you to awaken from sleep, for our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. The night is advanced, the day is at hand. Let us then throw off the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning. Today is December 18. And for our reflection today, our scripture says, are you a sleeper? You know, thinking that it's Christmas time and we know that Joseph and Mary traveled to Bethlehem to register. But think of it, when they arrived there, Bethlehem is the home place of the hometown of Joseph. He has relatives in, in Bethlehem. He has friends in Bethlehem. 
but still he could not find a place to stay that he had to go to an inn? Think about it. Nobody opened their door to Joseph. In reflecting about it, we are sleeping, closing our doors to Joseph and Mary, not allowing them to enter the, the home of our hearts. So this Christmas season, let's open our hearts to the knock of Joseph and Mary. Allow them to come in. How do we know if our heart is asleep? Can we easily say, I love you, Lord? If yes, our heart is awake. Can I easily say, I praise and glorify the Lord? If I can do that, my heart is awake. If I could look at the neighbor and see the good and the beauty in that neighbor, my heart is awake. If not, my heart is asleep. My brothers and sisters, let's open the doors of our hearts to Jesus, Joseph, and Mary and allow them to bring the light into the darkness of our hearts. Amen. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. You are the one who is to come. Have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on us. Let everything within you watch and wait for the Lord our God draws near. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He, he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was his oath to war to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadows of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let everything within you watch and wait, for the Lord our God draws near. Did the Lord Jesus Christ Judge of the living and the dead, let us pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, you came to save sinners. Protect us in times of temptation. You will come in glory to be our judge. Show us in your power to save. Help us to keep the precepts of your law with the strength of the Spirit. And, and to look forward in love to your, to your coming. coming. You are praised throughout the ages. In your mercy, help us to love devoutly and temperately in his life. As we wait in joyful hope for the revelation of your glory. At this time, let's pause for a moment to lift up our prayers and petitions to our Lord Jesus Christ.
Dear Lord Jesus, we lift up to you our prayers and our petitions, together with the prayers and petitions of each and every one who are praying with us this morning. We ask, dear Jesus, that you hear and answer each and every prayer as we say, Come, come Lord, Lord Jesus. Jesus. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom and teach us how to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen let us pray lord fill our hearts with your love and as you revealed to us by an angel the coming of your son as man so lead us through his suffering and death to the glory of his resurrection. For he lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace and glorify the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you for praying with us. We hope you can join us again tomorrow. Same time, same place, same channel. Have a great day.